I hear all the time from veterinary practice owners or managers or leaders, I haven't got enough time to do everything I want to do. I'm just stuck doing the clinical grind. So how do you get off of the hamster wheel? The first thing you have to do is make an internal switch change. As long as you prioritize clinical work and you think of that as the most important thing, then that is where you're going to stay. You're always going to be stuck on the hamster wheel and your stress is going to mount up because you know all this other stuff is important. You know hiring good people is important. You know building culture is important. You know giving the team one-to-ones are important. You know having clearly stated objectives is important. All of these things matter, but you're prioritizing something else. You have to make the switch and understand that important trumps urgent. Clinical, everything in clinical is important when you're a veterinarian, but very, very little of it is important when it comes to the business, not the individual things. Doing that one operation is super important for that animal, but it's not super important for your business. Having all of the structural pieces of your business that you need to make it operate smoothly and effectively and efficiently is important. Now, that gets to be more and more urgent as the chaos, as the the vibrations as the the general lack of cohesion and the problems start building up and the culture starts falling apart and it starts to become just this horrible thing that you're actually not enjoying being a part of anymore, then it becomes urgent. It doesn't. It becomes a crisis. And now you're going to have to do a lot more work, work a lot harder and invest a lot more time and energy into damage limitation and then turn around. It's just so much easier to get it right from the start. So begin to prioritize the important business elements, which are your and only your responsibility as the business owner, and deprioritize a bit, not a lot. We're talking maybe 20% of your time on the business. The 80% rest of it can go on the clinical workload. The next thing is to not try and do everything at once. This is all about setting priorities. And the first thing you've got to do if you're going to set a priority is understand where it is you're trying to get to. What are you trying to do with the business? Why are you trying to do it? Once you understand that, and by the way, that's called having a vision. Once you understand that, then you can work out what your priorities should be in starting to achieve that. Let me give you an example. If in your business you wish to reach more customers in a way that is much safer for your team and for them and makes use of technology, then you might want to prioritize telehealth. Now, there's a million other things you could be doing. Yes, you could be working on that marketing campaign. Yes, you could totally be uh, doing that extra piece of surgery. Yes, there's the accounts that need doing. Yeah, there's a lot of other things you can do. But make it your job to do just one thing at a time on your management workload, okay? If you work on that one thing and stick with it until you get it done, you'll start making measurable progress. What's happening now is you're starting 10 different things, which means you're not prioritizing anything. And when you do 10 things at once, either don't do them very well or more accurately, you finish none of them. So you're working on everything, when your practice managers ask you, have you got that document? Or, or one of your team says, hey, have you had time to look at that thing that you were going to do to assess that piece of equipment I asked for? Or to sign, that, sign off on that CE course I was going to go through? You're like, yeah, 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 I'll get to it, I'll get to it, get to it. Truth is, you're never going to get to it until it gets to crisis again. And that's when somebody's pissed off or something's broken or you're about to get a some kind of lawsuit file against you or, or the tax man wants to charge you extra. Stop paying the penalty of crisis management by prioritizing things that are aligned to the mission. When you do that, change will start to happen for you. OK, so that's it. Two tips and only two tips. Very specifically, only two tips because you're already overtasked. You've already got too much on your plate. Stop watching a video for five tips. Two tips. Mental switch. Start prioritizing the important over the urgent for 20% of your time. Ring fence it. Put a notice on your door. If the building is burning, come and ask me something. Otherwise, figure it out yourself for the next hour, right? Prioritize it. Ring fence it. Treat that time as importantly as you've been treating the time in your operating theater, 
Once you do that, it will never change. And then make it just one thing. Start doing that. Tell me what happened. I bet you, I bet you things start moving along in the management of your practice and that's going to make life better for everybody. Good luck. Let me know what happens. Let me know some of your tips for how you get more time and more things done in your leadership journey. Until next time, from me, Dr. Dave Nichol, be safe, be well, and be happy.